Today we are going to show you how to connect two external controllers onto your Pandora box 11. So this is the extra Pandora box I bought. It's a wireless box that has wireless controllers. So the two wireless controller in from this box, it sends the signal to this USB right here. And we are going to plug this USB into our main system right here. We are going to connect the two extra controllers from the other Pandora box into this main system here. Let's flip this boy over. And as you can see, there are two USB ports right here. We're going to get the, the receiver that we have and just put it inside. Okay. That's pretty much it. So one receiver is going to have the signal from both controllers. All right. So what we're going to do next is just plug in the power and the HDMI cable and turn the machine on. So there are some settings inside the console that I need to show you for it to work. So what you're going to do is to fire up the system and turn on the controller in the back. Okay, on the controller you can see a light. So awesome. So right now the factory setting is kind of off. So you have to go to the setting from the machine, right? So in the back side of your uh, console, there is a setting button right here. The little small one right here. You just press that to go to setting. You want to go to system config. And then you want to go to game pack settings. You see how this is set up to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4. The game pack is tracking the first input as a player 1 and the second input is player 2. Right now we have two inputs. Even if it's only one receiver, we have two inputs. So this controller are working, but they are player 1 and player 2. But our machine also already have player 1 and player 2, right? So what you're going to do is go to here, gamepad setting, and press A here to set it to player 3 and player 4 only on the gamepad setting. So after you've done that, you just press uh, start and then you want to save your setting, okay? Save setting and reboot and say yes. And that will bring you back to the main menu. You want to test out the controller, of course. You want to go to the uh, three player games or four player games. All right, let's pick one with uh, four player. Let's do Dungeons and Dragons 2. This is a four player game. And then see if it works. All right, we're in the main screen right here. Let's do some coin. And then let's the player one start, player two start, player three, oh, player three starts, player four. Okay, let's see. So you can see the four P, one P, but player two, all right, player three. Okay, let's see. We should have four players. Voila, we have four players here. Okay, let's test out all the controllers. This is player one. Player two. Player three. And player four. Bravo! All right, gamers, we are going to connect the two external PS4 controllers. So what do you need? You need a USB to a micro USB cable. 
and it's not just any USB to micro USB cable. It has to be a cable that's able to charge and transfer data. 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 If you just have a USB cable that only can charge, it is not going to work for this system. I'll include a link for this kind of cable in our description. So check it out on Amazon. Please just get the right kind of cable. I have a really short one, unfortunately. So do yourself a favor, get a longer cable for your controller. So we are going to flip the system to its back. See the two USB port right here? You got to tuck those cables in the USB side into here. Just like that. So let's power up the system. All right, so once we're in the system, in case you missed the first part of the video, we have to check the setting in the config. So let's flip this guy over. And we are going to press this button right here for setting. It, this goes to the, the setting page for the system. And here we're going to go to the system config to make sure the game pack setting is set. Right now it's 1P, 2P, 3P, 4P. You want to set it to 3P and 4P on the first two controller. So after you've done that, just press the start and then you want to save the setting. Save setting and reboot. And it brings back to the dashboard. The next step is to connect the wire to your controller. So make sure the controller is totally off. And you want to just plug it in. Make sure the light's on, like that. And you can actually use the controller as such. Similar to this one. Right, the light's off, right? The controller is off. Now we'll just plug it in. Make sure the light's on, okay? Now you can control the system like such. All right, let's go to our four player menu. And then we're gonna do the Dungeons and Dragons again. All right, we're gonna get, go ahead and start player one. Start player two. Let's see, player three and player four. And now we'll, we'll make sure that all the characters. So what? So what we gonna? So what we are gonna do now is just make sure all the characters are doing what's supposed to be <laughs> with the controller. So this is player three. All right. Oop. Oh, there you go. It's working. Player four. Oh, the so square is like a super superpower. Oh, I did it again. Nice. Player one, still working, All right? Player two. Yeah. All right, guys, making this video is making me sweating like crazy. Shiny head. If you find this video to be informative and help you to set up your four player game system, give a thumbs up. I can't aim. Here we go. And subscribe to the channel. So everything I show here is down in the description. You can check out what they have available right now. There are so many versions of Pandora box out there. So just so good luck choosing the best fit for you. Alright guys, until next time, take care. Adios.